look, if check this out. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Before you had the China virus term, you had a movie called Menace to Society. <laughs> In the beginning of Menace to Society, what did old dog do? They went up in there. I don't remember it. They, they, this is how the movie started, Rob. They went in there, just two dudes at the Korean store, trying to, uh, and they're, they're looking at them. The Korean shop owners are just following them and shit. They come get the 40, and homeboy's chugging his shit. Uh, the, the, main, the main star, I forget his name, he's chugging it. And she's like, hurry up and buy something, something. I feel sorry for your mother. <laughs> and he's like, bitch, what'd you say about my mama? Bah, bah, bah. And homeboy had the 40. He's like, oh, shit. He says, I went up in there to, to buy some beer with my friend. I came out an accessory to murder. And then the fucking movie starts. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. All around Third Ward, you have Asian-owned, Korean-owned, the beeper spot, the hair weave spot, the fried chicken fried fish spot, you know, um, the co- convenience stores. For whatever reason, a lot of times Korean immigrants, they post up in the hood and open up businesses. So I would argue, as we saw in the 90s L.A. riots, where did it all really go down at? Koreatown. This is before the China virus. The shit was going like Korean shop owners were having to be on the rooftops as their city was burning. They're having to be up there with shotguns to stop looters. So that's before the China virus. So what I'm saying is some of this tension may be from the fact that if you're on the south side of Chicago or you're in maybe Flint, Michigan, Gary, Indiana, you're going to see your staples of the of the food deserts, the hood. You're going to see the fried fish, fried chicken spot, um, just convenience stores, maybe a liquor store. There's been that tension for a while. You've had that frustration of hey mr kim i'm coming in here to get my (laughs) shit yeah and you own it and you're in my neighborhood and you're an immigrant and i'm not how the fuck you got a store i don't Mm -hmm. there's always been that tension so somebody's got to make the argument that bitch this shit kind of been going on for different reasons different social economic reasons and we can't try to put it all on trump and not put a little bit on minister society dude real quick that was sometimes the weed does good and not just bad it does good probably nine out of ten times sometimes you always have that one where it's like it's too much it's too much